everyone, it's Elsie here. I hope you're all well. So for today's Moody Monday, I've gone a bit off topic um, by literally creating a mood board. So I'm currently sort of redoing my craft space slash reorganizing it and I have this really boring and practical notice board. Um, and it was just stressing me out because it one didn't look pretty that's the most important thing and two it just had like all you know like adult male <laughs> okay that sounded like not dirty male <laughs> like just boring adult male like bills and stuff okay went weird um, and yeah I just pinned it up there and it just always looked so messy and disorganized so first thing I decided to do on my literal mood board I'm call it a literal mood board <laughs> um, was to create this kind of file I guess um, so what I did is that I grabbed a 12 by 12 piece of paper which really inspires me and this one I grabbed was from the Paige Evans Take Me Away collection and if you've seen my scrapbooking videos you will know how much I like stitching so um, this is perfect it's got all these um, it's got this gorgeous cross stitch pattern on it so yay <laughs> um, and I don't own a scoring tool or a steel ruler or a um, bone folder or a scoring board or no, I don't know. I don't own anything that's, you know, useful in this scenario. So, but you can work with what you've got. <laughs> so what I did was that I grabbed the 12 by 12 piece of paper and I chopped an inch and a half off one side. Um, and then on the other three sides, I scored one inch and half an inch across from that so one inch and 1.5 inch marks if that makes sense i'll have a blog post link below um so you can actually you know you know get a more coherent feel for what i'm doing <laughs> um and then i don't own a scoring tool or blade or anything like that and so i just lightly very very lightly um scored along the line with my craft knife and you know that worked really well just make sure you don't piss the paper um, and then I also smashed my ruler in this process because I was trying to get the corners really crisp and I don't have a bone bo <laughs> um, a bone fold or anything like that um, and I apparently turned into the Incredible Hulk making this so <laughs> oops um, as you can see here I cut a little like notch um, in the top just so it's easier to grab um, the bits of mail that I want out um, and I think I measured sort of an inch across an inch down two inches across and then like kind of joined to make the thing yep that made sense I'll have a blog post don't worry <laughs> um, so as you can see here I'm just folding in the corners um, honestly I was really lazy and I stapled it um, staple them together because uh, no one's going to see the back um, so it didn't really matter to me um, and I had a stapler handy so it, it did the trick <laughs> um, so yeah um, just a word of warning I don't show you um, how I adhered this to my notice board but I actually ended up backing it bit with a bit of scrap paper um, just because it was easier just to stick it onto the thing and stick the pins in um, but you don't have to do that um, I just kind of ended up wrestling with this thing to try and get it on the notice board and yeah it was so much easier with it backed with like a tiny bit of paper so do that if you want to I guess <laughs> um, and to decorate it I'm just taking the inch and a half strip of paper I had left over um, and I'm using the reverse side to make a little bow um, and yeah I am obsessed now with making little bows like this um, they just they just look so cute <laughs> and yeah I just grabbed a template um, off of Google um, just Google like bow template and it will come up um, yeah so I'm just making that and then that keeping it real 
um, chipboard piece from the Paige Evans Take Me Away collection as well worked perfectly because, you know, all this pretty stuff and everything, but keeping it real by putting like, you know, the adult, you know, boring stuff into the pretty little pocket. So, you know. Um, I also couldn't decide whether I wanted like this tealy colour bow or a yellow bow. Um, and I went with the teal, but I ended up making the yellow bow still and using it also on the mood board, which you'll see in a minute. So just making the bow and I mean you can obviously like decorate you know and embellish these to your heart's content but I really like keeping it simple like this um, because the rest of the mood board for me was quite um, busy <laughs> um, so yeah the foam the stitching foam pad as well worked really well because I could you know put pressure on it to stick everything down And as you can see it looks very pretty and it's also very practical um, I'm really pleased with it um, and yeah super easy and cheap to do so yay <laughs> and the next thing we're gonna make are these little um, pockets I guess um, they're a kind of similar thing they're just for like your random bits and bobs that you have lying around that you want to just sort of tuck away or have peeking out so I'm using a uh, paper from the My Mind's Eye Market Street collection, I think. Um, I got this <laughs> paper collection in TK Maxx for like two quid. Um, so I, this is my favourite paper from it as well. And I debated whether or not to use this, but then I just thought, no, 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 no. You know, this is like a mood board, you know, use your favourite bits of paper. So what I did was cut a 4x12 strip of the pattern paper and then I punched one side with my scallop border punch um, and folded it over I think the pockets about two inches um, and then rounded the corners off and just stuck them down with some double sided tape I mean you can obviously use a sewing machine or a stapler whatever you have handy I decided to be lazy and use tape <laughs> um, and yeah the embellishing for this one was really simple I just added that little um, paper clip and the a chip, another chipboard piece from the Take Me Away collection and with the other bit of the paper that we had left over I made another pocket but kind of reversed it so next we're gonna make our own Draw, drawing pins or push pins whatever you want to call them um, these are really easy and practical and pretty um, so I again use my Paige Evans take me away chipboard um, and it has these really cute little paper clips on it which are not paper clips like pegs which are kind of perfect so what I do is that I just sort of got some glue and stuck a push pin on. Um, hot glue would probably work best because it dries quickly and it's really strong. Um, I don't have any hot glue so I just have this tacky glue and yeah chipboard works best because it's obviously a bit more sturdier but I also use wood veneer. I did use some stickers um, and yeah they just look really cute and they're practical so I use them just to stick down some of my favourite photographs and journaling cards um, yeah, and that's pretty much how I sort of organised and decorated my mood board. As you can see here, um, I kind of kept things the same colour scheme, so blues, pinks and yellows, um, and golds, and yeah, I just used some of my favourite things that, um, you know, will really inspire me when I'm creating. I might be a bit stuck and I can just look at this and just think, oh, flowers or bows or food. <laughs> um, <laughs> see the french fries and macaroons there so yeah I just use lots of stickers and die cuts and chipboard pieces and wood veneer um yeah and I really love the look of it um yeah so I'm planning on doing a sort of craft space tour soon so yeah stick around for that like subscribe if you haven't already and I'll have um a blog post link below for you so yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time guys bye